guys, so my day is crazy, but I promise to do uh, what I eat in a day video. So I wanted to tell you guys to do something called intermittent fasting. It's where I fast for about 16 hours. Some people fast for up to 20 hours, but I generally start eating around 10 o'clock or so, and then I stop. Uh, my last meal is around 6 o'clock. So it allows me to eat during that 10 to 6 period and then I'm fasting the rest of the time. And I can that fast, I just drink water, I can drink tea, I can drink coffee as long as it doesn't have any like cream or milk or anything like that in it. But um, I'm going to walk you through my day and I feel to tell you that um, I also drink coffee throughout my day, which I forgot to include in my breakfast. But um, if you do like this kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will do them again. But yeah, let's go and see what I eat today. Starting my morning off with a green smoothie with about a half a cup to a cup of berries, um, a couple of ice cubes, some, a tablespoon of chia seeds, a teaspoon of maca, half a teaspoon of chlorella, half a teaspoon of spirulina, teaspoon of cinnamon and some turmeric and ginger and just some water. And then I'm gonna have a real breakfast. I'm also adding a couple of drops of stevia to it. This is what it looks like. For lunch, I'm making a salad with some kale, some parsley, some salad shrimp, some mushrooms, and a little bit of avocado. My salad is done. I used half the avocado and I cut up a fig that I picked the other day. On top, I'm gonna to add some samak, which is something that the Middle Easterns use in their patouche salads. It's kind of sour and I love it on my salads and then for a dressing I'm just gonna splash some apple cider vinegar and this will be my lunch to go. This is the rest of my breakfast. It's a little over a cup of egg whites and then about a quarter to a half of the avocado that I had. Stopping at a coffee shop and having my lunch. Gonna have this maple praline waffle lion choice bar, which I've actually posted about it on my Instagram. I just I love the ingredients in here, and the macros are really great as well. But the fact that they don't have any like corn fiber or corn syrup, sweetened with stevia, and it's a great product. It's GMO free, which is really nice, and they're handmade. And 10% of the proceeds go to here we go donated to dream to achieve kids foundation i really love this brand so if you enter um fiddlicious in the website it's like there you go the lionschoice.com you can get 10 percent off i'll leave a link in the description box i'm also having an apple with my protein bar home from a long drive from la and i'm having some frozen grapes if you've never froze grapes before definitely try them out and i'm going to have some of the pumpkin cake that i posted yesterday for dinner, I am having a ginormous bowl of spaghetti squash with a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast, which is high in protein, high in vitamin B, and tastes like cheese. I really love it, and it tastes just really good on all vegetables, so I usually use that. I use it a lot, and then just a couple tablespoons of salsa, and then a big piece of salmon. For my last meal, I made a vanilla protein pudding with one scoop of this vanilla grass-fed whey protein powder from SFH, some coconut flour, just like a tablespoon, and some water just to get it to the consistency that I wanted. And I'm also gonna have a tablespoon of this birthday cake batter peanut butter. It's one of the best peanut butters I've had in quite some time. And it's by the same brand of the protein bars that I featured earlier. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box to the website. And thanks for watching. That concludes my day of eating. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you have questions about intermittent fasting, I suggest that you Google it because there is so much information out there. And I guess I suggest that you guys read it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.